Hey ladies, my name is Jamie with Your Guide to Style and welcome to my channel. So today I want to do a video on how to style leggings with ankle boots. And I've had a few questions on this just like I did for the skinny jeans and the loose jeans. So I've got two videos out already on those if you want to check those out. I'll link them in a banner above and put them in the description below. And leggings are kind of like skinny jeans, but not really. And so I just wanted to do a video to show you with different shaft booties of how you can style your leggings. And I did what they call an ankle legging, but it's a little bit shorter than an ankle. I'll give you the inseam once I get to it. And then I did a full length legging because there are a lot of full length leggings out there. So I wanted to show you both and show you some options. And this is just my opinion. So. If you don't agree, that's totally okay. These are just the ways that I thought they looked best. And you can try different things with your leggings and your skinny jeans or your loose jeans to see what works for you. But these are the things that I thought looked the best. And I will show you again the things that I loved and then there'll be a red X on anything that I did not like at all. So just to give you a few details on me and what I'm wearing in these videos, I am 5'4", I do not wear petites, I do wear regular sizes, and so I will give you the inseams as I get to these, but I do talk about different shaft booties. And so if I say low shaft, that means something that's about three inches and is low, kind of sits on the ankle or below the ankle, which is a pretty wide part of our foot. So it looks like it fits a little bit better. You can't really tuck things into it or anything like that. A mid shaft is something that is about four to five inches and that actually comes up above the ankle and a lot of times the width of it is a little bit wider. So you can tuck things in if you wanted to. There are a few options that are lace ups that are mid shafts that are skinnier that you will also see that I'll show you how things work with them, but they aren't super open, but you can also tuck a few things in those. And there is the taller, skinnier shaft booties that I talk about, which are sock booties, and I've showed you guys a lot of photos with these on other styles. And the shaft of this is usually between six to eight inches. And like I said in the other video, if you get above the eight inches, then usually you're talking about a mid calf boot and not really an ankle booty. So let's first look at the ankle length leggings. And I'm calling these ankle length, but they may be a little bit cropped they're not totally cropped and they're not completely at my ankle so they are a 26 inch inseam and you'll see where they land on some of these booties and kind of determine where they are but it's a they land about a couple inches above my ankle and this is my favorite style i think it's really versatile and if you had a black pair you could really do a lot with it so let's first look at it with the mid shaft booties so the first image you will see a chunky mid shaft booty and this one is perfect with these and I did not have to roll them or do anything with them. They just landed right at or just a tad bit above that shaft and I thought they looked perfect and I thought that was a really easy style because the booties are casual. The leggings to me are a little more casual and I think I would wear this a lot even if I just had a black pair on. And then the mid shaft heel booty, I thought looked great as well. I think if I was going to do this with the heel, I'd want to be a little bit more dressed up. So I might choose to do a different color, like a black or maybe even maybe a faux leather legging, something like that, that was a little bit nicer. But if you have a black pair of leggings on, I think they will just kind of blend and you won't be able to tell that they're super casual if you put them on with this booty. The next images I did with the combat boots, and I wanted to show you two options here because the combat boot is a higher shaft, but it's skinny. And I loved them tucked in. It came up high enough that you could tuck it in. And with the leggings, they're a little bit skinnier than if you were to do a skinny jean. So they really worked here. And then I rolled them up just to see what I thought. And I think if you're super casual and you threw on a casual sweater or a, you know, even a sweatshirt with this, that that actually worked as well because 
it wasn't too thick it was just two little rolls and i thought it worked really really well so the next pictures you'll see are with the lace up and this is a really casual booty and i just actually let the leggings go and did not roll them here and i thought that that looked pretty good if it's really casual and your legging comes to the top of that shaft and it kind of bunches just a little bit then i think that is okay if you do not prefer that you can always tuck them under if you wanted to and a lot of people like tucking them under it's not my preference because i just don't like fooling with that but if you want to tuck them under i do recommend getting some kind of uh, fabric tape or something that you can tape it up in there and it won't come out and you won't have to mess with it during the day if you're going places and just don't want to deal with it but if the material is too thick and you have to cuff it under too much a lot of times you're going to see it because leggings are a little thinner and with the material you just kind of see bumpiness through them if you were to do that so just make sure if you do choose to do that that you don't see that underneath there and then the next picture i did was rolling them up and i did not like this because it showed the skin and i just don't think that is a good look with a pair of leggings and of course like i've said before in the winter and the fall it's cold and we really want to be covered so i did not think that that option was that great so now that we've talked about the ankle length leggings i want to show you some full length and these full length leggings were a whole lot longer they were five inches longer so these are a 30 inch inseam on me and as you can see i did not do a lot of low shaft booties or any low shaft booties in this video because I just didn't think they looked great and i really love the mid shaft and the more casual styles with this so that's what i went with if you have a low shaft booty and want to do them with your leggings it probably would work better with a full length than it would the ankle length so let's go ahead and look at the mid shaft booties here so the first image i rolled them up and this is with the chunkier booty that i have i rolled them up and with it being so long i had to roll it up three times to get it where i wanted it to go and it just did not work i did not like it i thought it looked pretty terrible so <laughs> there's not many things that i think look terrible but this i think looked terrible so <laughs> but the next one i just left it full length and i tucked it in so it goes all the way down to my ankle so it fit in that booty really well and i think it really worked even if i got a little bit of scrunch near it with it being more of a casual look I really liked this one and then with the heeled mid shaft i actually really loved this too because this is a pair of herringbone leggings and i think you could actually dress them up or wear them really casual which is why i really like this style and i did like it here with the mid shaft dressier booty and all i did was let it down to my ankle and it kind of sat inside the booty because that mid shaft allowed it to sit in there really comfortably and I thought it looked really good. So the next picture is of the combat boots and I tucked it into the combat boots and it worked beautifully. So I really love this look as well. So if you have a pair of combat boots and any pair of leggings, I think this look is really good and it was really good with skinny jeans as well. And then I did the lace up here with it and I rolled them, which I only had to do it twice. But for some reason with this, there was still too much material and I just didn't love it. And then the, I did put on a different mid shaft here that's a little bit dressier. I have this ivory booty that's really pretty and I thought, you know what, I had on an ivory sweater so I'll just try this and see what it looks like. And with it just full length and inside the booty, it worked as well. And I think it was a great little bit dressier maybe smart casual look with this. So the last one I wanna talk about is the full length legging with the sock booties. And so let's take a look at the photo. And this one, the first photo is with me tucking the leggings in and the leggings are thin enough and they were long enough that they went down inside the booty. I did have to kind of rearrange them because you could see some of the seams of the leggings inside the booty, but otherwise, if you know just getting it in the right spot it would stay there and it actually looked pretty good and then if you had on just black it would 
kind of all go together and actually look pretty dressed up. So I think this option works really well. I did not love it on the outside of the booty like I did the skinny jeans. So this just shows you how the material scrunches. It's too tight around the ankle and it just did not work very well. So this option I say is a no-go, but definitely you could tuck them in. And I think if you wanted a dressier look, you could even throw a blouse and a blazer, a little bit longer blazer since it is a tighter legging with this and you would have a really fun outfit. So those are all my suggestions of how to style leggings with ankle boots and I hope it was helpful. If I did not touch on something that you are wondering about, please put it in the comments below. I'd love to answer your questions and remember if you want it to appear in my Q&A video, put Q&A colon in front of that question or suggestion and I will address it on camera for you. And please let me know if there's another way that you like to style these and if there's something else you are concerned about, I will have a video on how to style joggers with ankle boots coming soon because I've had that question and I really enjoy doing this and hope it's helpful. So if you have time, give me a thumbs up if you got this far and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notifications so you get to know when all of my videos hit YouTube. So. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys and I hope you have a great day.